Hi. Yeah, I've already spoke to Sergeant Cost. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Sergeant Thompson. How are you? Not great. Okay. What's going on? Okay. Your officers want to come into my home after you guys have already okay. illegally searched my home, um, and they say that there's a pig here. I'm saying that there's not a pig here, and I'm not opening my door. All right, folks, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a perfect example of how to handle police when they come knocking on your door. This video is coming to you from the channel Sarah Taylor, and this interaction involves officers from the Dearborn Police Department. About a week prior to this interaction, Sarah had an issue with some officers where they came to her house and searched her property. Now they're back with a vendetta, or so it seems. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. How about yourself? I'm good. I'm here on a follow-up. Um, I believe you spoke with Officer Janaga about a pig in your basement. Is that correct? Um, I have the police report. I don't see anything about a pig. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I believe that the officers came here and they found a, a pig in the basement. And I'm here to make sure that, that it was removed from the property. Because okay, well, there's basement. no pig here and there's nothing in the report that states anything about a pig and nobody's coming in my home without a warrant again. You guys already tried doing that on the... F so I'm not allowing officers in my house or anybody else without a warrant. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll be right back. The original search came after an unfriendly neighbor made call to the police that they feared Sarah was going to harm herself. Sarah didn't know her rights at the time, but she did know that the police weren't supposed to search her property without consent or a warrant. They came in, confiscated her firearms, and did a complete search of the house. They clearly violated her Second and Fourth Amendment rights. Well, apparently that was not good enough for the department, so they sent more officers to her house, claiming that there is a pig in the basement and that they need to remove it from the premises. Let's see how that works out for them, now that Sarah is a bit more educated. I've had better days. I know that my uh, house was illegally searched and seized uh, one week ago today. I know that there's not a pig in my house, and I know that I'm not going to fall for the same stuff as you guys. So we have, you know, video body camera of a pig being in your house. So I just okay. To know again, that. it was again that was also without a warrant coming into yeah, my house. I'm just letting you know from from where we're at. Right okay, now. but so that's that fruit way, of a poisonous tree. Well, I'm just saying, and I'm saying that there's no pig here now, and I'm telling you guys that I am not allowing you in my house. So we can't check to see I am not allowing you so in my house. So now the next step is going to be you're going to be issued a ticket. That's fine. And then your CPS is also going to be contacted. CPS has already been contacted, so that's fine. Well, yeah, it'll be contacted again. Okay, that's fine. And, and I mean that. And what's your name and badge number, sir? My name is Copa Mediochi, 526. Okay, and what is yours? Officer Masood, okay. number 1218. Okay, and you can also, if you want, you can bring uh, Lieutenant Bazi down here, who I've been discussing this whole case with. Well, I'm that's who I'm requesting. You're requesting yeah, I am you requesting. Call the and speak to well, technically, it's my my right as a citizen to ask for a higher up, which I'm asking for control, Lieutenant control, Lieutenant Bazzi, who's already been on the case, and I know that he's working. So you want to speak to him? I would like to speak to him. Call my boss. It would go from him because I got to go with my chain of command. So, but you're 100 percent sure there's no pig inside your property. There's no pig on my property. All right. You get, you get weird. Okay. We'll let you know about the, the boss, okay? Yep. So are you going to be staying here and then coming back, or can I go back and try to take my nap that I was working on because oh, I have cancer? Back. and. will probably be back, so I mean, if you want to wait a few minutes, and then give me a couple minutes to call him, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Right. Yep. If I were Sarah, my response would have been, there's not a pig inside my house, but if y'all come in, there might be a shit ton. All jokes aside, she absolutely destroyed these officers. Back in 2011, the state of Michigan passed a very controversial law. The law passed in October 2011, placing wild pigs on Michigan's invasive species list. Owning one of the feral pigs is now punishable by a two-year felony. Problem is, just like with every law passed, that it's too broad of a law and doesn't specifically clarify what it entails. For example, after this law was passed, farmers were targeted and subject to property searches for pigs, that is how we got here to this video. 
Because of this dumb law, police have been utilizing this as a way to unlawfully search properties. That law does not supersede the constitutional rights of the people, though, and Sarah knows that. Hi. I've already spoke to Sergeant Cost. Yep, yep. Sergeant Thompson, how are you? Not great. Okay, what's going on? Okay. Your officers want to come into my home after you guys have already illegally okay. searched my home. Um, and they say that there's a pig here. I'm saying that there's not a pig here. And I'm not opening my door. And I've been in touch with Lieutenant Bazzi. We're working on everything, including the cams. And there's nothing the cams, in the, yeah, the body cams. cams that you guys wear, okay. just like I'm recording right at the moment right. as well for yeah. my own, because you guys I wouldn't let me have the, the phone right on uh, sure, May 5th. Sure, I appreciate that you're so, recording right now. Yeah. Um, so right, you, you no longer have the pig here in your state? I state that the pig is not here. Okay. Can I ask where it may be? Just for, so just because I... If, if because I, of what happened, honestly, I'm going to use my my right, hey, Ross, my Fifth I'm Amendment sure. right, because you guys have made me, after what you guys did to me, like on the Fifth, I've learned a lot about the my constitutional rights, and I'm going right. to use it to remain silent. You, uh, okay, I, I can appreciate that, too. Not right. meaning I'm guilty or I have anything no, to hide, I, just the fact that I don't feel like I need to answer that question. Okay. I'm telling you that I'll there's be, no uh, pick right. here, okay. and I'm telling you that anything that was possibly seen would have been fruit of a poisonous tree anyway. For those that have not caught on to what Sarah is saying, the phrase the fruit of the poisonous tree doctrine, also known as the derivative evidence doctrine, is a rule in criminal law that makes evidence that was derived from an illegal search, arrest, or interrogation inadmissible. Apparently, when they unlawfully searched her house in the previous interaction, they claimed that Sarah had a pig in her basement. They said that their body cams picked up whatever they saw, but if there was evidence of a law being violated on those cameras, that evidence cannot be used in court to bring charges against Sarah. Everything as far as evidence from that search would be inadmissible in court. But there is no pig. Yes, I have. Quite impressive. Yes, I have. Most definitely. You guys quite inspired me while I was detained and my guns were retrieved over somebody else calling and making a false report about me wanting to commit. Let me ask you this. Did these officers get your name? Yeah, they were for me. I don't, I, I'd do have, have to re-record. Let's just do that. Uh, do that. Do, do they we they have a telephone number road? for you? Yep, I read all, all your sergeants too. I think I might have even talked Not to sure. you. No, no, no there's a gentleman you that looks like you in the so office. You're new to me, so. So you're. Is there anybody else that lives in the house? Yep. Is it, uh, do you have a significant other or children or? Grandparents? Yes, I have. But I all have. The above, a, no, not all the above, but I have two. Two children. Two. Well, I have three children and a husband. Okay. All right. I'm here by myself. Okay. My my daughter is a well. She definitely watched was Am walking I to work. Am understanding that you wanted to see a supervisor out here? Well, yeah, but after he was a little reluctant on it, and the fact that I've been in touch since Cinco de Mayo when my house was searched over. I mean, we're not uh, the we're not going to get into all sure, that. Not, the, let's, let's but it the point is, is that after that, I've been in touch with five or six of your sergeants, okay. and me and Lieutenant ba Bazzi are working together. Um, I even spoke with him this morning, and he is going through the body cams of that day. Okay. And uh, we've already gone through the report, and we have already started to try to work on things. I also spoke with, I told you today, after I didn't feel like he was really going to get me anybody, mm -hmm. I made sure that I called your police department, talked to the other sergeant, and he is going to put a note in an email uh, Lieutenant Bazzi about this situation because of the incidents that have occurred and I don't feel safe with you guys in my house. Um, last time uh, several of the officers came in without their masks and gloves and I have cancer so that is a big risk to me especially when it's a law by our governor. 
Um, and it's my Fourth Amendment right not to have anybody come into my home. Okay. So right. I, I'm telling you guys, there's no, no pig here. Just like I told you guys, I wasn't suicidal. This time, I hope that you guys can learn to believe and appreciate your citizens as I appreciate you guys and the jobs that you guys do as your sergeants, other sergeants and your lieutenant will tell you that I'm very respectful and I do appreciate all the hard work that you guys do and we support you guys 100%. But I also have a duty to stick up for my own amendment rights. He's my, basically my special that. dog. He's just I watching understand. you guys. He's very friendly. He wouldn't try that. to eat you guys. I, I thank you for the support that you say you give us. Um, oh, I definitely do. And, we'll, we'll, and I appreciate the job that you guys we'll, do. We'll document this meeting here uh, uh, just like we would any other. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. But, That's fine. I don't appreciate being threatened with CPS. Because CPS is already involved, okay. so really don't appreciate the whole CPS, I'm going to call CPS on you kind of thing because I am not a negligent mother, I'm not doing anything wrong. So, I, there, I mean, that's your guys' prerogative, uh -huh. and that's something that I'll have to deal with, but I will tell the lady the same thing as I did last time. I'll show her everything on the cam through the Zoom or the Facebook or whatever she wants to do it with, like she did before, okay. but nobody's entering my home anymore. Okay, without a warrant. Without, ex you, without you, a warrant you, or, you know, wait, wait, or, or a probable cause of a crime being committed. Okay. Right. No, trust me, I've been, because I don't want to sound stupid when I talk to you guys, and I also don't well, want to disobey the law and commit a crime myself well, we so i'm trying not just for my own sake but for your guys's and my children as well because one of my ch all bullshit aside sarah did a really good job but only after her rights were violated unfortunately that's how it is these days police prey on those that are uneducated they know most of the time they're going to be able to pull one over on the person because of this that's why they try tactics of intimidation fear or even trying to be friendly so that you forego your rights I feel for Sarah in a position like this one. If what she is saying is true, then these officers should be ashamed of themselves. This woman is battling cancer, trying to continue on as a mom to her kids, and now has to deal with this situation. Blue Line supporters always use the argument that police are people too, but they fail to see when police lack empathy in these situations, and that shit ain't cool. With that being said, make sure you all head on over to Sarah Taylor's channel, subscribe, and let her know San Joaquin Jr. sent you Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching.